coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by B-Dubs, official chicken wing of the Big Dance. State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by AT&T 5G, fast, reliable, and secure. It's the biggest dance of them all, and it rolls on from the Hoosier State basketball hotbed, and of course, the birthplace of the legendary John Wooden and the Wizard of Westwood's UCLA Bruins have made themselves right at home in Indiana. Two wins and a date with a serious Cinderella, the Abilene Christian Wildcats. From the first four, and now a chance to the Sweet 16 for UCLA. Abilene Christian taking down a Goliath in the Texas Longhorns as a 14 seed are in their way here. Hi, everybody. Great to have you with us, Brian Anderson, along with the All-American Jim Jackson. So looking forward to this matchup, Jim. And you could not have polar opposite programs than ACU and UCLA. Well, ACU, the true definition of a Cinderella here by their defense, and UCLA trying to restore some of that old glory under the tutelage of Mick Cronin. Coming out of the first four be Michigan State. Johnny Juzang's had a great run for UCLA. It's Campbell, Paquez, Juzang, Bernard, and Riley. And then for Abilene Christian, Damian Daniels, Corian Mason, Reggie Miller, Joe Pleasant, who hit the key free throws to secure the win on Saturday, and Colton Cole, the seven-footer. Those are our Wendy's starting lineups. UCLA in the home whites. They never expected to break out the white uniforms at this point as an 11 seed. But here they are taking on the 14 seed and Abilene Christian. And Jimmy mentioned this ACU program just started eight years ago and they really didn't have the full Division I program as far as scholarships, as far as personnel and staff until four years ago and yet here they are it's one of the most improbable ncaa tournament stories we've had in a long time well, well, correct me if i'm wrong didn't coach joe golden say that they just got their full-time strength and conditioning coach last year or it's this a, year that it's just a couple, couple of years I mean, so and here they are yes from the plains of west texas ucla at abilene christian underway acu controls the first possession and right away, getting up the first shot, Corey on Mason, he is fouled. So a foul on the first possession on a three-point shot. Jules Bernard fouling the shooter. So let me ask you this right off the bat here with free throws coming. Jimmy, does Abilene Christian have staying power? It's a good story, and it was an amazing win over Texas. The way they play, especially on defense, do they have staying power to have a chance here to go to the Sweet 16? Defensively, yes. 52 points they held um, Texas to 20-plus turnovers. The challenge they have is putting the ball in the basket. That's the challenge in this aspect. Defense does travel, but uh, at some point you still have to be able to crack that 65-point barrier against some of the better teams as you advance in the tournament. Corian Mason playing with a broken nose. He wore a face mask to start the game Saturday. Dips that quickly and makes all three free throws. And that's how this game begins. Both benches are up. The Abilene Christian bench basically is a set of cheerleaders over there. They've got the chance going the whole bit. They're bringing their own energy to the party. UCLA fully in this tournament now after going through the first four and winning two games here in Indiana. And that's going to be a trip. That is Reggie Miller, number 10 in purple. That's right, Reggie Miller. No relation to the man whose number and banner hangs up in the rafters at Banker's Life Fieldhouse, which is where we are tonight. He says he gets it all the time, though. For now, then the rest of the game, he'll be known as the other Reggie Miller. Right. Of course, he went to UCLA as well. That's a good hit. And Johnny Juzang picks up right where he left off. He's been a scoring machine in the first two games of this tournament. Be a very important for UCLA first three to five minutes. Identify the rotations, gauge the speed of those rotations, and then plan out how you're going to attack it. Right there, Juzang able to get to the baseline. Hit that early pull-up jump shot. Pleasant runs with a wall and Hawkes. 
Huck has had such a great night in the first four. Shot clock down to three, and a little turnaround. Can't get the bounce. Cody Riley with a rebound. UCLA is a possession-oriented kind of team, Jimmy. Do they have to go out of their offense a little bit playing against Abilene Christian and the way they defend? No, actually, they can utilize their patience against the rotating defense to force this Abilene Christian team to expend a lot of energy. Not that they're not accustomed to it, but when you're more patient, now you can be able to get some shots that typically you may not be able to get against a scrambling defense. Daniels with the rebound. Reggie Miller at the controls. Tiger Campbell on him. Here is Daniels at 5-7, the point guard. What a great game he had. What a lead for the seven-footer. Good action there for Abilene Christian and Colton Cole. Jams it through for the Wildcats. And an early lead for Joe Golding here. And that's what you want. You get yourself to a free throw line early. Abilene Christian three points. And then drop a nice little dime inside the paint. Bruins came into this tournament having dropped four in a row. As Riley with the left hand scores it and a foul and one opportunity. Cody Riley with a strong hand. Well, you talked about the five-seven spark plug. Damian Daniels inside. Cole able to get the dunk and then off a middle pick and roll to rotation just a little bit late. Riley able to lay it in. Riley averaging double figures this year. Cole's going to go to the bench. They play a lot of guys as Abilene Christian. Clay Gaiman on the floor for the first time. So the 42, Riley can't convert the three-point play, and Gaiman is in the book with a rebound. How about this? None of their Abilene Christian players average over 30 minutes a game. That's to ensure that you have enough energy mentally and physically to keep up this high-paced, high-intensity defense without any drop-off. Pleasant fouled on his way in. All these fouls for UCLA. This only plays in the hands of Abilene Christian. If they can get points at the line, you get yourself into the bonus. Makai Morris will enter. And it's a catch-22 there. You do want to get in the penalty early, but this Abilene Christian team only shoots about 67% from the free throw line. So the question is, if they do, or when they do get to the free throw line, are they really able to capitalize off of it? We'll see. Left-handed finish. Nicely done. Corian Mason. Got a quick five out of the gates. So Ariel Simmons in the game for Abilene Christian. Jalen Clark enters for Riley for UCLA. Ronnie Jaquez. He has so many moves in the block. Hung with him well. There's Clark. Oh, and ripped away from behind. That's going to be a held ball. Excellent play by Arion Simmons. Possession arrow. Belongs to UCLA. Give me that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on the face. Ooh, I had it. That's what it, that's what that's what his face said. He's something. He is a big man. He's 6'5, 265. He's the closest thing that we have to Charles Barkley in this tournament, let's say. I know Charles is watching. He's got some skills though. Give it up a little bit of height. Way better athlete than Charles. Way. <laughs> Tiger Campbell, a little pull up, nicely done. Hey, you know, that's a big basket too for Tiger Campbell. Doesn't seem like a lot. But he's been struggling from behind the three-point line. But just to get that early basket, it's important. Makai Morris misses a three. Clark with the rebound. Ripping it out of the hands of Simmons. Campbell with seven points against BYU. Michigan State and BYU, the first two opponents for UCLA. That is smooth as it gets. Jules Bernard has been an excellent three-point shooter this year. He's a guy that can get hot and carry this UCLA team. Yep, a great third will to have with Juzang and Haquez. So a whistle, going to be a foul. Take us to our first timeout off and running here. Well, UCLA early, kind of getting adjusted to this defense. Bernard for two, up one. Reggie Miller chose to bubble at Wendy's so he could wake up with the official breakfast of March Madness. I always go for three. Reggie! Let me in. Kenny Smith chose 
somewhere else. You know I can't break the bubble, Kenny. Oh, you're serious? You're not gonna let me in? This is my Wendy's. This is everybody's Wendy's. Beat it. I made a mistake. I made the wrong choice. Are we really gonna go through this? Stop, Reggie, stop. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's, official breakfast of March Madness. Boom, baby. I am so pumped to be back with you guys for March Madness. <laughs> you remember the first time we got together? Good seat, Sam. I used my Capital One Quicksilver card and earned 1.5% cash back. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> Come on, Red! Sorry, I'll never do that again. I promise. Hello, friends. You knew about the Quicksilver card back then? It's called being a visionary, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you've always been ahead of the game. So you want to make the best burger ever? Then make it. That means cooking day and night until you get, you got paid. That means best burger ever. Intuit QuickBooks helps small businesses be more successful with payments, payroll, banking, and live bookkeeping. Prepare to be swept off your feet. Enjoy VIP perks and more at BudLightLegends.com. And suddenly, the ghost appeared. Chip, huh? Those chips. Yeah, you're glistening, bro. When you oh. want that sweet satisfaction of real chocolate in every bite, Chips Ahoy is here for it. Here for happy. Say <laughs> pay <laughs> Smooth driving pays off. Saving is easy when you're in good hands. Allstate, click or call for a quote today. Oh, that spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. Pick something we all like. OK, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger. That's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. Hey. You really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all-new Buick Envision. An SUV built around you. All of you. Welcome back to Bankers Life Fieldhouse. UCLA up 8-7 to seven over ACU. Ever since Coach Golding took over this Wildcat program 10 seasons ago, he's been trying to create visibility as they make a name for themselves in Division I basketball, and he's done so with the most unique defense in the NCAA tournament. Coach Cronin went as far as saying, it's organized crazy. Coach Golding shared with us that he took defensive principles from Danny Casper at Stephen F. Austin and Steve Shields at Little Rock and mixed them together with his own little twist. Coach Cronin said he's never seen anything like it. And when you get a chance to get a shot up, you can't turn it down. This defense won't let you live if you don't. Oh, it is. It's that Havoc style. It created an identity there. It said they felt like they needed one. Something to hang their hat on, give reasons. So when you go on recruiting trips, he gives a lot of credit to Brett Tanner as well, his defensive coach. Shot clock gets low, coming out of this timeout. And oh. hang and a finish by Reggie Miller. Nicely done. Well, in early in this game, too, the points in the paint are critical in these layups for ACU because they're not a prolific three-point shooting team. So now they're finding early success against this UCLA defense by getting inside. Juzang steps inside. That move right there. That's the kind of shot that Mick Cronin wants to see. He wants to see these step-ins, quick decisions because of the way Abilene Christian closes out. Three-pointer is true. That's another one down for Corian Mason. Mason with eight points. His first made three. He's had the shooter's touch playing with a broken nose. He broke that nose in the Southland Conference tournament against Nichols State. Clark, nice feed. Mm. Campbell oh. swings free but blows the layup. Yeah, yeah. Took his eye off the prize, so to speak. And a travel. Mason knew it. How about this stroke, Jim? Well, how about the, the patience? You come off, give yourself some spa space, a little miscommunication defensively by UCLA. And Mason's like, yeah. It's amazing how confidence travels, too. Having that win against Texas, now you relaxed a little bit more. Playing extremely well to start this game, B.A. Substitutions coming in waves. Joe Golding has Tobias Cameron on the floor for the first time. Brings his seven-footer Colton Cole back on. Cody Riley re-enters. 
And Nick Cronin answering with a shooter as well, and Jake Kyman. Riley gets stuck, looking for help. Campbell, he'll pull it, long two, tough shot, cash, money for Tiger Campbell. Now, see, that's ironic. He missed the easy layup, yeah. you know, the bunny, and a high arching shot, <laughs> hand in the face, able to make. Riley, interception, turnover, Abilene Christian. Two point game, UCLA with the ball. Down a pair, this ACU team as a 14 seed. Back to back turnovers, however. And now UCLA can tie or take the lead here. Jaquez, strong inside. Strong, but how about the awareness knowing that Colton Cole was just about to slide over? Saw him out his peripheral vision, hesitated, knocked it in. Jaquez plays high volume minutes. He is an excellent player, just a sophomore. Doesn't get the headlines like the Johnny Juzangs of the world, Jules Bernard. They score the points. Coming up short, Daniels for UCLA. All five starters have already put an entry into the scorebook. They've all scored. Campbell has four points. And now Kyman got it. Got one of the purest strokes going in the Pac-12. This could be his kind of game here today. Bit of a secret weapon shooter for them. 6-0 run for UCLA. One and done on the other end. Bruins in the lead. Juzang, no. Riley gets the board, and Riley scores it. And one. Cody Riley out working his defender. Got a chance at a three-point play. Well, I, I think he plays in the hand of UCLA. You always talk about, you know, the, the different fighting styles in the boxing match matters. Where with UCLA playing more methodical on the offensive end and not extremely fast, this can be a perfect matchup for them because they're accustomed to slowing things down, which hence will slow down the defense of the Wildcats. And right now finding early success with that patience for UCLA. UCLA really protecting the ball well, as well. They only have six turnovers. After they had six turnovers, the opening 11 minutes of their first game against Michigan State. No turnovers thus far today. Mason can't score it. Riley clears the rebound. Here's Jaquez. Jaquez with Pleasant on him, gives it up. UCLA will get into their offense now. And Riley to spin, and a foul. Got him across the wrist. Colton Cole with the foul. And a timeout on the floor. Good action early. UCLA 5-4. Their possession. 14-11 matchup here for a trip to the Sweet 16. Who brought the sauce? I brought the sauce. Who made the sauce? I made the sauce. What's in the sauce? I am the sauce. Who brought the sauce? Okay. We made USAA insurance for members like Martin, an Air Force veteran made of doing what's right, not what's easy. So when a hailstorm hit, USAA reached out before he could even inspect the damage. That's how you do it right. USAA insurance is made just the way Martin's family needs it. With hassle-free claims, he got paid before his neighbor even got started. Because doing right by our members, that's what's right. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. The new handcrafted quesadilla at Chipotle. It's a whole new way to adobo chicken, a whole new way to guac, and a whole new way to order. Because it's only in the app or online. The new quesadilla. It's a whole new way to Chipotle. March Madness!
Are you ready to step up your ball game? You gotta be smooth. Introducing the Lawnmower 3.0 trimmer by Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com to get your Lawnmower 3.0 and receive free shipping with your online order. Guys, feeling like you've lost your motivation? No energy? Hit reset with Nutrisystem for men. Act now for our most effective plan ever. I had a weight loss goal. I went way beyond it, but I'm not done yet. Nutrisystem for Men is real food to help you reset your body and health delivered right to your door. Don't wait. Start it right away. Call or go online in the next two minutes to lock in your special deal. Call or go online right now to lock in your special deal. Our tournament summary, Oregon, right here on this floor, advancing to the Sweet 16, took down Iowa, four time in the last five trips to the tournament. Oregon and Dana Altman moving on. Big Ten's been a struggle. Jim Jackson, Mr. Ohio State, really? they lost the last four. Really? Two two seeds are gone, Iowa and Ohio State. And how about the Pac-12? 7-0, all five teams still alive, UCLA included. Hey, a reminder, unbelievably delicious Coca-Cola vanilla. Vanilla is hard to describe, but in a good way. Well, let me describe something to you. I'm, un I'm an unbiased commentator here. Uh -huh. And so those little shots about the Big Ten and, you know, it's unnecessary. It's then facts. Allie was killing me on Ohio State because she got one up. It's, that, it's totally unnecessary right now. Allie, talented point guard <laughs> at Ohio, Bobcats. Uh -huh. Well, playing did. today a 30 30 30 player was out of the force is that right Allie? 30 30 30 that was my line and if you don't know what it is that that's good that's a good thing <laughs> if we were up 30 or down 30 I got in for 30 seconds <laughs> that's right. 30 30 30 16 12 UCLA in the lead Abilene Christian Dodge one there from Cody Riley missed free throws free throws have been a problem for UCLA Inside, Pleasant, and he walked. Abilene Christian with another turnover. That is their third. First for Joe Pleasant, who hit those clutch free throws. His only two free throws of the game. And it was to tie and to take the lead against the Texas Longhorns. He'll never have two bigger free throws the rest of his life. And notice you in this trap. When they fall back into man-to-man, -man, it's either Arian Simmons or Joe Pleasant right there at the front. Try to give a little size in there. Not understanding where it's at. But early in the game, look, UCLA doing an outstanding job of maintaining the space. And here, a little pick and roll. Cody Riley is there. But watch this. The late rotation by Pleasant is because Akaz maintains the space in the corner. And on the switch, now you got more room to work. Because unlike Texas that had more bigs that were around the block, converge the space UCLA wide open able to take advantage of I and mean, that's a great point and if you're wondering why Cole has been in and out of the rotation mm -hmm. here and they've gone with Simmons a little more that's exactly why there's not as much traffic inside flurry of moves Mason off to the left and there's Riley with a rebound Riley's controlling the boards right now Riley already with five rebounds one of those an offensive board Hawkes got a mismatch Unable to score it. Mason stood his ground. On the fly here is Daniels. Kicks it. And now ACU will get it organized. They beat Texas. They scored 53 points, Jimmy. Incredible. Not only you, could you win a game at that total against the Longhorns, but also shoot under 30% from three-point range. Right. They, they still won. Right. If you have gave those statistics out about the shooting percentages <laughs> and the scores, no way you would have thought ACU would even be close in the game. But because they forced so many turnovers and got 27 more shots. Speaking about shots, came and talked about that beautiful stroke. And the poise and the patience, the flow, but the ease in which UCLA right now is operating is why they're able to be up by seven early. So interesting what Mick Cronin is doing here with Kamen in the lineup as Pleasant fires one off the backboard and into the hands of Bernard. Hawke has kept it alive. There's so much Cronin can do with his roster with Abilene Christian. He's kind of forced them to go small with him, which means he can have Kamen guard the post on defense as Bernard misses the three. Miller with a rebound. ACU wants to push it. 
And there goes Miller all the way in. Can't get the bounce. And UCLA will secure it. David, David Singleton with a rebound. ACU started four of six. They've missed their last seven now. UCLA making Abilene Christian play a lot of defense here. Gets down to four to three. Jaquez, little turnaround, no. Miller, another rebound. Yeah, but nice little isolation for Jaquez Jr. right there at the free throw line. Gives you more space to operate. Harder to kind of come in and double team a little bit. Jaquez just not able to knock that one in. Miller runs into the trees, kicks it. Pleasant for three. Singleton clears the board. It's been the one and done for Abilene Christian, last few trips down. No offensive rebounds yet for the Wildcats. Going to be an area of concern, especially if they're going to play quote-unquote small without Colton Cole on the floor. Going to be a whistle on ACU. And they'll get Simmons on the call. Hey, scan this code right now to watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. You can watch now, NCAA.com slash March Madness, or download the app today. Joe Golding, former ACU point guard, back in their D2 days, took over this program, brought him into the Division I level. Steve Shields, his mentor at Arkansas Little Rock. There's a three-pointer down for Kaiman. Eight points for Kaiman. His second made three. He's three for three in this one. Had a chance to hide him on defense. He could be a huge offensive weapon. It's pleasant. Gets in close, can't score it. Too many UCLA bodies in there. Yeah, but early, you remember, a couple early two to three layups that ACU was able to knock in. But now finding it hard to get the ball in the rim. Good interior defense by the Bruins. Nice spin. Clark able to score. That's a 16-0 UCLA run. They were down 12-8. 16-0 is the march for the UCLA Bruins. Lowe's is the new home for pros. Because after 100 years, we're working harder than ever to keep you working. We're waking up earlier and solving the problems that keep you up at night. Like stocking the brands pros want and the quantities you need to get the job done. From saving you time to saving you a spot out front. We're making things easier for the people who work harder. It's why in the past year, millions of pros helped make Lowe's the new home for pros. When making the new Kentucky Fried Chicken sandwich, people asked how I felt about burger places selling fried chicken. I'd say that's none of my business. It's like making fried chicken is none of theirs. Get the new Kentucky Fried Chicken sandwich for just $3.99. It's finger licking good. Mm. Oh no. I, mean, I think they look good, man. Mm. Smooth. Mm -hmm. They are a little tight. Like, too tight? Might just need to break them in a little bit because you don't want them too loose. For those who were born to ride, there's Progressive. True. With 24-7 roadside assistance. Okay. I think I'm going to wear these home. Excellent choice. If it looks like an F-150, toes like an F-150, hauls like an F-150, thinks like an F-150, and powers like an F-150, it must be an F-150 hybrid. Introducing the all-new 2021 F-150 Power Boost Hybrid with 570 pound-feet of torque and 12,700 pounds of max available towing. The new Samsung Galaxy S21. This looks different. It is. Show me. Just hit record. See that? You're filming in 8K. That's cinema quality. So... You can pull photos straight from video. 
Impressive. But will it last the whole trip? You'll have battery all day. And then more. This is different. Told you. I'm Adam Zucker back in New York with the Geico game break. Undefeated Gonzaga into the Sweet 16 for a sixth straight tournament after beating Oklahoma by 16. Drew Timmy a career high 30 points, six offensive rebounds, and the fresh wings of the Oregon Ducks. Too fast for Iowa. Chris Duarte flying through. He had 23. Luca Garza 36 in his college finale. Back to BA Jim and Allie. Welcome back, everybody. ACU down 12. That's the largest deficit of the game so far. Coach Golding just moments ago telling his team in the huddle during the timeout, move the ball. You have to make the extra pass. It's not about you. It's 18 a game. So they're forcing tough twos, guys, but they're just not scoring. Yeah, and three turnovers as well. Brett Tanner who handles the Adeline Christian defense trying to unlock this puzzle here against UCLA to start it a scoring drought over nearly eight minutes for Abilene Christian they've missed their last nine shots and a substitution to try to change that but the Bruins stand tough defensively kind of it's already got eight find Singleton shooter to shooter and look at that rebound, a standing rebound there by Clark. Goes up strong and finishes. <laughs> well, they're getting some mismatches inside. Yeah, and Reggie Miller was there. Boxed him out, did his job, but height one on that occasion. Clark able to gobble it up and put it back up quickly for two. This is a blitz by UCLA. They're on an 18-0 run. ACU led 12-8 when this run started, and another miss. Abilene Christian cannot find the basket right now. And Joe Golding got his big man queued up, ready to enter this game. Next offensive possession. Good ball movement. Tymon looking for Riley. Double team, kick it. They don't leave that guy open. A bad pass. And a turnover for UCLA, their second. Well, I'll just be solid defensively. Look, three UCLA players around, but then the discipline to stay straight up. And then one-on-one -on -one defense. ACU finding a little bit hard to put the ball in the basket. Twenty-six twelve, our score. UCLA out in front of Abilene Christian, and an eighteen zero run that has covered eight minutes and twenty six seconds. And watching Mick Cronin kind of unveil the game plan here. It's been fascinating. They found some holes with Abilene Christian. He talked to us about watching ACU against Texas. And the one thing he kept mentioning to us, arrogance will get you beat. And that's one thing he expressed to his team. And they've come out playing very well. Take a quick break. 6.07 remaining in this first half. I rely on my phone for everything. So I hired him to help make it more secure. Fraud call. Welcome to your nightmare, punk. Usually he makes them cry. That's why AT&T Active Armor has features included to help block those fraud calls. Right. Would you tell Danny Trejo for me? Him. I'll find you, yeah. No. It's not complicated. AT&T Active Armor, 24-7 proactive network security, spam and fraud call blocking to help stop threats before they get to you at no extra charge. Let's make lots of money. All state drivers who switched saved over seven hundred dollars. Click or call to switch. Na, na. Na, 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 na. The world's first six function multi pro tailgate available in the GMC Sierra. Current eligible GMC owners get 5,500 purchase allowance on 2021 Sierra light duty crew cab models. The Coke, the cherry, the vanilla, such a perfect combination. Almost too delicious to be true.
Welcome to That's What I Thought. Travel to Mars takes seven months, but you can raise your credit scores instantly with... Experian. That's it for ways to raise your credit scores instantly. Boost your credit scores and save only with... Experian. <laughs> Download the app now. Tonight, I'll be eating loaded tots for March Madness. Thanks, boo. I think you better double them tots. No, this me was last year. I didn't get my madness last year, so we're doing double the madness this year. To look at our game summary, UCLA on this 18-0 run covers eight and a half minutes. And shooting well from the field, they're up near 55%. They're two for five from three-point range. And they lead it 26 to 12. Jimmy, if you're Abilene Christian, it's your ball here. Colton Cole back on the floor, the seven-footer. Where do you go for offense at this point? Got to have something. You got to try to find Cole. Try to get something easy, if not a kick out for three. But more importantly, get the ball through the nets because then it allows you to set up your full court press right, right there. Yeah, good call, Jim. Yeah. Cole right into the mix. That snaps 11 consensus for Abilene Christian. They have not scored since the 15-01 mark. Well, notice, too, out of the timeout, that was a quick hitting play. Quick reactive. UCLA a little slow to the rotations. It's a great call in the timeout by Coach Golden. That was a nine-minute drought. And late clock here. Now Abilene Christian with a little tap in the step. Campbell, tough three, rattles in and out. That was halfway down. And that'll be Abilene Christian ball. All right, two things accomplished. One, you got the score you wanted. Coach Golden, now you got a defensive stop back on offense. Let's see if they go back to the well in regards to using Colton Cole in that middle pick and roll to get something quick going to the basket. Again, you may attract some defense from the weak side and maybe have a skip pass for a jump shot. You need stops now. So Kyman is out. You got Juzang and Bernard back on the floor. And that's going to be a UCLA foul. Tiger Campbell. Hey, don't forget, first round coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues today on ESPN, ESPN2, and ESPNU. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. Got my eye on South Carolina. Okay. Personal okay. reasons, too. Point guard, Zaya Cook from Toledo. Stanford out of Pac-12. <laughs> of course. <laughs> In the corner. And stepped on the baseline again. Makai Morris. No room to operate over there. And it's another ACU turnover, number four. Yeah, and the margin for error for this Wildcats team is that you can't have those empty possessions. The turnovers that don't allow you to get shots. And I know coaches don't like bad shots, but you'd rather get a shot up at the rim or a chance to get an offensive rebound than to turn it over. Here's Bernard. And Cole pulls down the board. Abilene Christian looks a little more settled with their seven-footer on the floor. Right. Daniels falls down, keeps his dribble, a little curly kneel action. And Cole can't hit. Johnny Juzang coming off 27 against BYU. Averaging 25 in the first two games. No. And Miller comes out of there with a rebound. Kept his dribble going. He's going to run the attack. G. Miller gives it up. Good hands by Juzang. Miller, tough shot. Bounce. Got it. Hey, you stay with it. The ball got tipped inside and came right back to him. And he had the patience and awareness of mind to know that Riley was right there. Took his time and knocked him too. Reggie Miller had seven against the Longhorns. Senior leader. First on the team in steals, and he's hounding Tiger Campbell right now. Campbell almost got away with a walk. Juzang missed a three. Daniels the board, lost the dribble. Cole on the ground, and that's going to be what's the call here. You got a foul. It looks like Clark is raising his hands in question. Still no. There we go. It is going to be a foul. It just. No, it's a yeah, they called it on Jalen Clark, so a UCLA foul, Abilene Christian ball when we continue. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Allstate. You've never been in better hands. Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla.
unbelievably delicious. And by Uber Eats. Tonight, I'll be eating my favorite game day foods. For those who have found themselves without health insurance during these challenging times, sign up now at healthcare.gov. Three out of four healthcare.gov customers can find a plan with a monthly premium of $50 or less thanks to financial health. These are quality plans that include coverage for doctor visits, preventive services, and prescription drugs. Sign up at healthcare.gov now through May 15th. Well, things are rough. Oh my goodness. I mean, like, the floor is actually lava rough. I can't, bro. But you're not. Me? You're a reactor, uh -oh, a mover, a better than what came before you doer, a slayer, a crier. <laughs> well, let me tell you about this funny thing that happened. <laughs> you are realness and weirdness, chaos and hope. Yes! All this talk about good things to come? Nah, you're the good thing. The new Lexus IS is all in on style. All in? All in. And all in on power. This is what excellence looks like, people. And this is what exhilaration feels like. The new Lexus IS. All in on style. All in on performance. All in one package. Like me. Yeah, we'll see about that. The new Lexus IS. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Reggie Miller chose to bubble at Wendy's so he could wake up with the official breakfast of March Madness. I always go for three. Reggie, let me in. Kenny Smith chose somewhere else. You know I can't break the bubble, Kenny. Oh, you're serious? You're not going to let me in? This is my Wendy's. This is everybody's Wendy's. Beat it. I made a mistake. I made the wrong choice. Are we really going to go through this? Stop, Reggie, stop. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Official breakfast of March Madness. Boom, baby. Can we even afford this house? I'm pretty sure we can. Pretty sure. With Rocket Mortgage, you can be certain. Not pretty sure. What's the difference? Let me show you. I'm pretty sure these aren't poisonous. I'm pretty sure you do not run. I'm pretty sure these are parachutes. My nap is sandwich. Certain is better. Let's go with certain. Good choice. When you're buying a home, pretty sure isn't sure enough. When you need to be certain about how much home you can afford, Rocket can. Uh, it will be Abilene Christian Ball. They called a foul here, Jimmy, on Jalen Clark. Well, it was James Breeding from the baseline that made the call when you had two officials at half court. I think it's a jump ball. Breeding, I, I guess he felt that Clark pushed Cole in the back, but I don't think that was the case. That should have just been a jump ball. Clark is out. That scrum on the floor. You saw Clark's knee go right down on the hand of Colton Cole. First team all Southland Conference. Abilene Christian's going to be going into the whack in the fall. Their last year in the Southland. Won the conference tournament to one big lead. And here they are in the NCAA tournament and their first ever win in program history. Uh, Dave with UCLA. Let's see Coach Joe Golden going a little bit bigger <laughs> for Abilene with having two. With Simmons and also Pleasant coming back in the game. Probably trying to preserve a little bit the foul trouble. Here's Reggie Miller. ACU needing a conversion here. And the lefty Daniels knocks down a big three. Damian Daniels brings Abilene Christian within seven. This is a 7-0 run for ACU. Simmons out there with Juzang. Boy, you talk about a mismatch. Juzang hasn't spread out, looking for help. Juzang trying to get around the big man at a foul. Quick swing. Don't think about it. Daniels left open. Singleton late on the closeout. Let's go. I'm fired up. Get this lead under 10. <laughs> Nick Cronin <laughs> talked about it. He knows it well. And, you know, start looking at mid-majors and teams like Abilene Christian. Every one of these players for ACU has a story. They've been overlooked. They have been disrespected on some level, and now they're here and believe they're going to 
Pirates put up a fight. And they have been able to rally back with a 7-0 run. Down seven. Jaquez steps into one. In and out it goes. Bernard with a rebound, but had it stripped away. That was Mason. Now Miller out of the pack. Corian Mason had his pass deflected. Fortunate to get it back. And every step, UCLA right with. David misses a three. Oh, excellent right hustle. Could have been a hook and hold there on Riley. Ball on the floor. Look who comes out of the pack with it. Daniels. Might have been blocked by Jaime Jaquez. The body's everywhere, Jimmy. Hey, listen. Every possession is so important, so critical. And offensive foul. Clay Gaiman takes the charge. Slides right in. That outstretched arm by Riley. Gaiman said, listen, I hit the floor, but it was worth it. And Riley with two fouls will exit with two turnovers as well. UCLA. Now three turnovers. They protected the ball so well. Had just one turnover in about a 20-minute stretch from the BYU game to start this game. Pleasant. Guarded by Campbell. Now Daniel on the take. Oh, my goodness. Found some room somehow. Gaiman had it knocked away. Bodies on the floor again. Pleasant. Foul. Offensive. UCLA ball. Akez knew he would be able to get in position and watch how he sets his feet. He's going to prepare for this contact. And he does a little acting on that. Mm -hmm. Hollywood style. He called on one end. It's got to go the other. That's very similar yep. to what we saw with Gaiman. Yep. UCLA has been shut out the last five and a half minutes. Huh? Not the same kind of shots when they were getting to the middle of the court as we saw when they built that big lead. Juzang steps into one. Catch and shoot for Johnny Juzang. All set up. Right, Hockey is getting a little deep post-up penetration. Able to kick it right out. On the take, Mason. Hockey has disrupted that shot. Here come the Bruins. And Hockey's got a mismatch here if he wants it. And Reggie Miller on. This is no contest right here. And Hawkins scores easily. Guess what? Back to the middle. Got right back to the middle of the court. Hawkins patient. Able to get that big body down the lane. Cannot overstate either how much a game like the one Abilene Christian played against Texas takes out of your legs, takes out of you. Mm -hmm. You're in this tournament. You get one day off, but a full day of preparation. And now you're right back in. And a late afternoon start here in indianapolis daniels and a touch by campbell tiger campbell with the foul his second so you got riley with two tiger campbell with two abilene christian in the bonus and a one and one scenario coming up and, and you know if you use ucla too you don't change really your offense you just fine tune it a little bit to exploit maybe some of the weaknesses within the Wildcats defense, and that's what we've seen in this first half by UCLA. Hey, a reminder, the Bleacher Report app is home to all the action from around the tournament. Find your community by following your teams. You can fan easier, fan faster, fan better. Download the Bleacher Report app today. Two for two for Damian Daniels. He is an excellent finisher, but he is having a tough time against the UCLA defense. There's a lot of traffic in there. So Daniels will sit five points, one of four shooting, did knock down a big three. It's a 10-point game. UCLA in the lead with the ball. Shot clock is off. Miller checks Campbell. Jaquez, and it's blocked. Simmons closing out well. Chance at the last one here, Reggie Miller. Can't get it off the glass. That'll take us to the half, 31-21. Excellent defensive play by the big man. Well, got something to feel good about. You got the lead cut back down to 10. Feel good. Then you finish it off with an outstanding defense by getting the block shot.
Coming up, AT&T at the half. We'll get you caught up on all the latest tournament news, scores, and highlights of all the other games going on. We're in the second round. That's all coming up, AT&T at the half. Bruins by 10. Second round on this Monday afternoon in Indianapolis. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Lowe's, official corporate partner of the NCAA. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Experian Boost. Anvar. Nissan, official partner of March Madness. Road to the Final Four started and will end right here in the great state of Indiana. Ten-point UCLA lead. They lead Abilene Christian at the half. Just about ready for half number two. Brian Anderson along with Jim Jackson and our Nissan drive of the game. Where are you taking us here, Jimmy? Well, just a simple game plan of UCLA. Keep the court spread. Take advantage of the opportunities. They don't try to do anything fancy. Simple pick and roll here. And now you just spot up, knocking a jump shot. Jake Kamen able to get in the middle of the lane. All right, now you isolate again right in the middle. Again, the middle is the key. You keep the court spread, you open it up. Now your one-on-one -on -one players can get downhill with less traffic, able to convert inside the paint. Our Emmy award-winning reporter, Ali LaForce, doing some digging at halftime. What'd you come up with? You're too kind, Brian. Well, for ACU, Reggie Miller, very vocal before Coach Golding even hopped in with a comment. He said, we need to keep being ourselves. Guys, we're still in this. Coach Golding then telling the team, we need more movement on offense. I don't think we were us for most of that first half. Continue to fight and get back to who we are, and we can win this thing. For UCLA, they're really happy overall with the shot selection. He said it's not going to be perfect, but we're getting shots off. That's what's key. So on point with Reggie Miller's assessment because early in the game when they had quick movement, the court was spread a little bit more. Brian, they were able to finish without having a lot of traffic. Once they slowed down the height of UCLA, just came into play. Abilene Christian opening possession here in the second half. Starters on the floor once again, and that's going to be Daniels missing a three. Last touch by Pleasant. And UCLA ball. Not the shot. I don't think Coach Golding planned for coming out the timeout. <laughs> well, Joe Golding mentioned his his ties to Steve Shields, his mentor. He was an assistant under Shields at Arkansas Little Rock. Very close friends with Chris Beard of Texas Tech. As Hakez misses in close. Here come the Wildcats. At points in transition, something they hope for but have had a tough time getting here. They're not a team that runs well. They're challenged offensively, but because they're so good defensively and force so many turnovers, they do usually get some easy buckets. They get nothing but tough shots for the most part here tonight. That was another one. And that's a great point, Brian, because one, UCLA is not turning the ball over, especially live ball turnovers that leads to fast breaks. And then UCLA is not taking tough, long shots that produce long rebounds. Now the Wildcats can just get it and go. Jules Bernard, patient, gives it. Riley, easy. Joe Golding looking for answers here, and he's going to go back to Arian Simmons, who makes his way to the scorer's table. Cole, no. One and done for ACU. Yeah, UCLA using the aggressive defensive tactics of ACU against him that time. It was Colton Cole, Cole inside, kind of inching up off the baseline to help Cody Riley able to sneak right behind him. Thought Andy Katz made a great point during the halftime show talking about UCLA and how they've kind of had to change the way they play as Riley misses. So they lost Chris Smith, who is one of their best players, second leading scorer this year, a big man at 6'9. They also lost Jalen Hill, who is away from the team for personal reasons. They lost both of their bigs, and it took them a while to get their footing and learn how to play in this small lineup. And obviously, Chris Smith makes a huge impact on any team. 
and it's disappointing that he can't play in the NCAA tournament. But this is a free-flowing offense that Mick Cronin has together now. He hangs his hat on defense, but this is an offense that moves pretty well when they're clicking. Well, the blessing was the timing of when those events occurred early enough to give UCLA to kind of reestablish who they were ultimately going to be without those players. Hawkins with a block underneath. Singleton kicks it. Jaquez always makes a smart pass. Extra pass. Cash. Johnny Juzang for three. Quick 5-0 spurt here for UCLA. 36-21. Ten-point lead at the half. Desperate for offense is ACU. Going with their big man Simmons and gives it up. Again, he's only 6'5". He's given up some size. Going to be a foul on Arian Simmons. Well, talked so much about the Wildcats defense, but how about UCLA? Hawkins with the block, dribble, drive, swing it, swing it, three ball side pocket. UCLA in that first four matchup with Michigan State. There's so much history involved in that game. UCLA playing at Mackey Arena. On the campus of Purdue University, John Wooden, of course, played at Purdue, the Wizard of Westwood. And I think Mick Cronin was actually, you know, you don't want to be in that first four game. You want to try to avoid that. But that game helped them. And they beat Michigan State. They've got a lot of rhythm going now. And they look like a free-flowing offense here. Singleton. Oh, they get a second chance. Singleton with a three-pointer timeout on the floor. Joe Golding at ACU. UCLA on a run to start this second half. It's an 8-0 sprint. And they're up 18. There's power in numbers. Number 24s live in your head. I'm home. So find your number and take your power. Power Aid. More power for me. Burger. Butter. Beautiful. Bacon. Barbecue. Puffy lightful. Deliciousness. That's, that's not a word. Sonic Mesquite Butter Bacon Cheeseburger. Bacon. You said bacon. bacon. Even said. No. Okay, at at and everyone gets our best deals on all smartphones. Let me break it down. You got your new customers. They get our best deals. You got your existing customers. They also get our best deals. Everyone gets the deals. Questions? Got it. But why did you use a permanent marker? Because I want to make sure you remember. I'm going to get a new whiteboard. It's not complicated. Only AT&T gives new and existing customers the same great deals on all smartphones. Get up to $800 off our latest 5G smartphones. So what should we do today? Can we get to the sun? Uh, Mom? Can we go to the beach? Should we just go see a movie? Yes. I'm always up for a good movie. Go Rogue in the all-new, fiercely reimagined Nissan Rogue. The season's open for possibilities. And this spring, the outdoors are in. It's time to see the outside not for what it is, but for all it can be. To go somewhere new, you don't have to log miles. Just open your mind. The place you want to go might be just outside your door. Lowe's. Home to any budget. Home to any possibility. Click or call for a quote today. UCLA shut them out here in this second half. Don't forget, you can scan this code right now. Watch live games on your computer, phone, or tablet, or streaming device. NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now, NCAA.com slash March Madness. There you see the first four. 
to advance at least to the Sweet 16, first four to Final Four, Shaka Smart, VCU, LaSalle did it two years later, and then the year after that, Tennessee went to the Sweet 16, Syracuse the last to do it, 2018. That is what UCLA is trying to accomplish, first four to Sweet 16, they've become the fifth to do it, Jim. Well, maybe they didn't see themselves as a first four team, but think about this, they came in losing four in a row. And those games they had the lead and gave it up. So playing Michigan State, coming from behind, see a move inside by Pleasant. Coming from behind and then securing that victory late mm -hmm. allowed them to have the confidence they needed, that stimulus, that boost mentally that they could get it done. That has propelled them to how they're playing right now. So they had to walk that path to figure out who they were as a team that they could be successful and that Coach Cronin's game plan could work. And now look where they're at. Have a chance to reach the Swiss, Sweet 16. And then the thing that had bit them the most, those those leads, those halftime yep. leads that they lost, they turned that around against BYU. Jumped out to a 13-point first-half lead. They never trailed and took down number six, BYU. Juzang scored 27 in that game. Going up top, Riley on the receiving end from Singleton. And Miller putting up a prayer, hits the deck hard. Let's check in with Allie LaForce. What do you what do you have, Allie? Beg your pardon. Going to break. We'll check with Allie in a moment. She's standing by. She's talking. Her mic's not open. Hold that thought, Allie. <laughs> oh. That's a pretty tight spot. Watch this. Your Buick parks itself. That's so you. Of course you know where we're going. That's so you. Kind of got a six cents. And a head of display. They're here. You brought all these players in your Buick? Yep. So you. It is. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. During the March Madness event, current eligible Buick owners use purchase allowance and loyalty cash to get up to 22% below MSRP on 2020 Buick SUVs. Just three? Buffalo Wild Wings has 26 sauces and seasonings. Like mango habanero and honey barbecue. You're going to need more fingers. Buffalo Wild Wings, official chicken wing of the Big Dance. It's game time. Let's meet the defending champs. G. Hargrave Thomas, point guard. Bryce Mathias, forward. Kim Keats, investor. Oh, I invested in Invesco QQQ, a fund that invests in the innovations of the NASDAQ 100, like next-gen 3D rendering software. You don't have to be an advanced graphics architect to help realize a more vibrant nope. future. Become an agent of innovation with Invesco QQQ. Today we have the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 and the MacBook Pro. The Surface comes with a pen and it is touchscreen. Mac gave me this little bar, but why can't they just give me a whole touchscreen? The Surface Pro has a detachable keyboard. Now with the Mac, you're kind of just stuck with what you got. But with the Surface, yes, you can run your favorite apps on it. It has the power to run all your apps. It is a much better gaming device. I love my games. Then there's the price. Yeah. Whose hard lemonade seltzer is this? Looks so crisp and refreshing. It's Mike's. Mike who? Oh. Michael. <clears throat> Michael Tyson. Enjoy the Mike's, baby. New Mike's hard lemonade seltzer. Nobody makes lemonade like Mike's. You're right. That's a fifth floor problem. Okay. Mountain Mahas. <laughs> no, no, no. Not today. <laughs> Jimmy, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? Happier than to campaign with Tembo blocking a shot. <laughs> Get happy. Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Welcome back to Indianapolis, UCLA up 41-22 over ACU. No one more happy than Hep Cronin, father of UCLA head coach Mick Cronin. That's also his daughter, Sammy, and his brother, Dan. It's a full family affair. The family grew up on the west side of Cincinnati, not far from here. You know, Mick was one of three children, along with his brother, Dan, who you saw there, his sister, Kelly, 
and his dad was a high school coaching legend with more than 400 career wins in Cincinnati. He taught him everything he knew. He hasn't gotten to see him in over a year. That was leading up until this NCAA tournament in the Michigan State game because of COVID and cancellations to the Pac-12 tournament, but they were able to reunite, and he is here cheering him on. Yeah, we can't get through a Zoom call with Nick between you and <laughs> Allie and Jimmy and all that Ohio talk. Don't hate. Don't, don't hate. It's, it's, it's totally unnecessary. You, you're better than that, B.A. You're better than that. Okay, it's fouled on his way in. Well, it's amazing what a couple of wins will do for you in the NCAA tournament. And the Cronins, I, I had a chance to talk to Hep at Mackey Arena from a distance after the game. And he was he's so happy. You know, they were unable to see each other. Ali gave us that report on on Thursday at the first four, but that really hurts. Mick is a guy that wants his family around him, wants his father around him. He's on the buses, he's at practice. They talk ball all the time. And to go a year, like so many of you out there that have been separated from your family members, uh, it's been a really challenging year for Mick Cronin and his family. Hey, but guess what? What a way to be reunited with an opportunity to take this team to a Final Four. And this year, everything being here in Indy lends itself to less travel. Now he's able to hang out and, 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 and support his son. UCLA by 21. Five minutes into this second half. Had a 10-point lead at the half. And Johnny Juzang keeps it rolling. Down to Juzang, went to Kentucky as a freshman, transferred his first year at UCLA, impact player for the Bruins. ACU running out of options here. That's a good hit. They needed that. Makai Morris with a three-pointer. His first basket of the game in this second round. It's such a contrast. If, you know, you saw the Texas game. Everything seemed rushed for Texas complete opposite here with UCLA in regards to their patience like that right there just so simple methodical and picking apart the defense and basically getting the shots they want and not what the Wildcat defense will dictate Riley volleyballs it into the hands of Jaquez well prepared you can you can tell I mean there's only one day of preparation but this UCLA team ready for the fight that ACU brought to the Texas Longhorns. Yep. And gonna get a whistle here. Foul's gonna be on Cameron. You know, you always talk about constant movement on the defensive end, but offensively too. And that time, Juzang caught his defender sleeping. At the get back door. Hotcast with a nice dime. Real simple offense, ladies and gentlemen. Well, middle of the floor, really. That was a key point early. You saw what they were trying to do is create some space. And the middle of the floor has worked well. Two long droughts by ACU. Missing 11 shots twice. One in the first half, one here in the second half. Three ball is up. Cameron can't get it to go. That was maybe the, the last card, last ace in the hole, if you will, for Joe Golding to see if he could get a spark off the bench. Tobias Cameron from the three-point arc. Singleton for three. Mason with the rebound. He'll push it. Mason gives it up. And good defense by UCLA. Excellent getting back in transition. Hawkes just plows Mason out of bounds. That'll be a foul on Jaime Hawkes. Hey, the big red balls are back, Jimmy. John Cena, Nicole Byer. They host a brand new episode of Wipeout on TBS. Don't miss an all new season on a whole new network, April 1st on TBS. I would pay any amount of money to see you <laughs> no, on there. Come on, man. Especially up top when one of those things just slam you and hit you. Tell you what. No? I'll do that. You go floating down the river with me and. In West Texas. How about that? Uh, come on. Right up my alley with a cigar. Oh, that's easy money. Oh, that's what? Let you see tranquility. A, let you see a, a mama water moccasin once and then that's it. You're done. 
Man. You didn't know that was part of no, it. I didn't know that. You said just sailing down. You didn't just say nothing float. about that. That's all part of the floating experience, Jimmy. Well, the moxie can't get in the boat, can he? Or can't huh? be surprised. <laughs> this is a setup, bro. This is a setup. Not going to let it happen. Tobias Cameron. Yeah, we hit the air talking about the contrast between these two programs. And Abilene Christian, just a baby Division I team. This is just their eighth year. But really, they're fourth year when they've had the full complement of staff, of scholarships. It's just an incredible run that they're they're still alive. First, that they made it here, they're still alive, winning a game against Texas, who is a giant, not but, only in the state, but in basketball, for all of those mm -hmm. Texas schools to play. Yeah, but think now of the recruiting, getting excellent passing and movement right there by UCLA, see so if they get a shot out of it. There goes Jalen Clark. And unable to connect, but a foul. We got free throws coming back. UCLA in control. A nice little stroll here in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Hey, Ratchets, look! I'm you! <laughs> Jake from State Farm. You couldn't find a standing that looked anything like me? Have you seen mine? It's like looking in a mirror, right? Now that one makes sense. Look, guys, I don't even have a stand-in. Of course you do. Hold on. Is that Drake? That's right. Drake from State Farm. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Like, like a, a good, good neighbor. neighbor. Stand-ins don't have lines. Oh, OK. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. gets tired of eating these same little dots, I could get any three toppings on my large pizza for just 10 bucks. Pepperoni, sausage, bacon, a $10 taste maker, only from Pizza Hut. I think I'm about to out Pizza the Hut. No, no, no one out Pizza the Hut. Some people are built for this moment, some people are not. Oh, my goodness, Mark. <laughs> it's the playoff. Average has no home in your yard. Lucky for you, we don't do average. Instead, we make lawn tractors that aren't just grass cutting machines, they're task cutting machines. In zero turns, meet zero compromise. From speed to strength to stripes, they'll level up any lawn. And for the take charge type, we've got electric machines to match. There's no yard like your yard, so it needs a mower like no other. One designed for those who love to lawn. The energy's here. I need you to be ready. Coming off of that bike, and we're going to work that core. Okay. Find that balance. Look how great this is. Let's get working. This is what it's about. Push through. Come on. Nordic Track, the home of interactive personal training. Adam Zucker back in New York with this tournament update. Creighton trying to reach the regional semis for the first time since 1974. Mitch Ballack back to Christian Bishop. It's a 13-3 run and a seven-point lead. Joe Burrow and his dad are at the game, and Allie LaForce is there in spirit. <laughs> you know she is, Adam. <laughs> she is split-minded right now for sure. What a great story that has been. Ohio Bobcats taking on Creighton. 47-25, so speak it up, Creighton, Ohio, the winner of that one, will take on Gonzaga, the overall number one seed, chasing history here in Indianapolis. Trying to go undefeated, last time that was done, Bobby Knight, 76-77 Incredible, 75-76, I should say. The national championship Hoosiers who ran the table. Uh, free throw from Clark. No good. 22 point UCLA lead. And Clark one out of two. Uh, 
Natalie Christian coming out of the Southland Conference. We're moving to the WAC next year. Yeah, nice finish inside by Tobias Cameron. This team in this program, Jimmy Abilene Christian, they're having to play their games this past year in a reconfigured tennis center. UCLA at Pauley Pavilion. Oh, yeah. I mean, the contrast are wide. Their, their new facility or their refurbished facility, Moody, a $45 million renovation. They'll be back in there next year. So this program's looking up. I know you're starting to get into the recruiting and what a, a run like this in a tournament for a, such a brand new Division I program can mean. Well, yeah, you know, commitment to the program by improving the facilities, number one. Two, from a recruiting perspective, you move into the WAC, third 20 win season, playing an NCAA tournament. You're talking about a recruiting pitch now that the coaches use, that alumni use to, you know, the coaches to get you know, the kind of players they need to continue to grow the program. And like you talked about, Brian, only really four years of having the full complement of staff to be where you're at right now speaks volumes to the people you put in place to operate this program. Logan McLaughlin misses a three. Good recovery on the other end. Got him a second chance. And Makai Morris, Joe Golding, very tight with Chris Beard of Texas Tech seeing them exit the tournament yesterday. That was tough for him to watch. His close buddy, Chris Beard even said, he might not be a household name, Joe Golding, but he's gonna be. He's a great coach and he's put in the time at Abilene Christian. And now Mick Cronin wants a timeout. They're hawking defensively ACU. It's not pretty good or nothing. It's not acceptable or nothing. And it's definitely not close enough or nothing. Mercedes-Benz SUVs were engineered with only one mission in mind, to be the best. In the category, in the industry, in the world. Visit your local Mercedes-Benz dealer for exceptional lease and financing offers. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Well, when you have pressure, people talk about how do you attack it full head on. But it's not with the dribble, it's with the pass. Now you can spread the defense out, use the aggression against them. And UCLA has been able to do that all afternoon. Look, 11 assists to 20 made field goals. That's precision passing on time, on target, to be able to spread that defense out and take advantage of it. Keep in mind, only six turnovers. 11 mm -hmm. times this year, UCLA has had single-digit games under 10 turnovers. Four turnovers against BYU in their round one win. Four turnovers in 40 minutes. Protected the ball well. This is a team at ACU that forces a lot of turnovers. Getting some offense from Makai Morris here. 17-point game. Still playing hard, the motor not being switched off on this ACU team. And UCLA has to continue to maintain their focus and concentration. Working clock here, Jules Bernard. For Cameron on him, Bernard rises up, the lefty comes up short. Jaquez, offensive rebound. Into the hands of Bernard, kick it, Singleton. And now Bernard will get it organized with 10 on the shot clock. Urgency for ACU, knowing they need a huge run. Ooh, almost a steal. Instead, Jaquez misses a three. There's Tobias Cameron with a board. Big scrambling defense that time by the Wildcats. Inside, ooh, a good pass, and he had a layup. Yep. Pleasant trying to make something out of it. Can't finish with a left hand. Oh, he fouled, and he was able to get a shot on the rim. And I think this will be two shots here. Joe Pleasant. Well, as a shooter, you know where the ball is coming off at, and Pleasant able to get that second pop right there over the top. Yeah, no, it'll be baseline out of bounds, no shot. But a fresh 20 for Abilene Christian. 
on 14 out of their last 15 games. And just a silly turnover right into the hands of Juze. That's as easy of an interception as you'll have. Turnover number eight for ACU. Riley looking for shooters. Campbell, that extra pass. There you go, Jim, right on cue. And Tiger Campbell steps into a long two. It's infectious, man. Unselfish basketball. Get your teammate open. Get him a shot. It eventually comes back around to you. Full display right now by UCLA. Another finish by Makai Morris. He's been their offense. He's got nine points now, all in this second half. ACU did not have a player score off the bench in that first half. Morris, four for seven now. The lead is 17 for UCLA. Patient and pleasant. Able to jump the lane. That'll stay UCLA ball. And that takes us to a timeout. Nine on the shot clock. UCLA ball. Makai Morris doing his part off the ACU bench. This Coca-Cola Zero Sugar tastes mighty delicious. Come on, buddy. But it's you keep it's lying like this, you'll be a puppet forever. It's the honest truth. You're right. It's delicious. I never lie. I'm Jason Tatum. Check out my Subway sub with delicious turkey and crispy bacon. It'll help you hit shots from anywhere, unlike those other subs. My sub has steak. Wait, what did you say? Steak. Choose better, be better. And now save when you order in the app. Subway. Eat fresh. I've always been running to meetings, errands. Now I'm running for me. I've always dreamed of seeing the world, but I'm not chasing my dream anymore. I made a financial plan to live it every day. There was a dream. One day I could see it. At Northwestern Mutual, our version of financial planning helps you live your dreams today. Find a Northwestern Mutual advisor at nm.com. Stink Mina, my demeanor with the Nina. Senoritas wanna meet me at the Catalina. Wine mixer, mix it up with my elixir. Overlooking the ocean, I hoping I see Flipper. Young Felipe, moving like a GTA. But not CJ, more like Tommy. Copy, facts. Spacey, homie, you can call me Drax. Swing every single track, and you know it's about to start. Uh. Turn The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Did I find my new car on cars.com? Or did it find me? My hands were chilled to the bone. They came with a heated steering wheel. I was lost. But the navigation system brought me here. For goodness sake, from the price to the remote start, it's like cars.com saw into my soul. Let me give you another minute, OK? Cars.com, it's magical. 50 to 33, UCLA, an 11 seed, making their way from the first four to the second round. They lead it by 17 over Abilene Christian. The Dragon Slayers taking down Texas in round one. 7.59 remaining in this one. Mick Cronin is not messing around. As we went to break, he was hot, and he was giving his team an earful on the way back to the bench. I'm glad you cleaned that up because you said <laughs> something else. Yeah, he did. <laughs> no, you did, and, you, and how you explained it to what Mick I was, was doing. Quoting. I was <laughs> just, <laughs> just quoting. <laughs> but you know why he's doing it? It's the bigger picture. If you advance to the next game and you go play against a better team, and you get a lead and you lose that concentration, yeah. that two to three to four minute lapse could cost you that game. That's why he's so upset. 
It was nine on the shot clock after this timeout, and that's going to be a foul. Bernard got clocked in the face. And free throws coming here for UCLA. And take down number five. For UCLA, number one, Jules Bernard. So Bernard, two shots here at the line. Excellent three-point shooter. He was on a roll. He was leading UCLA in points per game. Last five entering this tournament. Hey, a reminder, you can get non-stop March Madness news, picks and highlights from every game on CBS Sports HQ, the free 24-7 sports network. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Bernard, one out of two at the line. The lead back to 18 for UCLA. It was a 10-point lead at the half. Daniels to Miller. And Miller with Campbell on him. Puts it into a tough shot. Riley with the rebound. Did you see the activity on the defensive end that time? Much different than before that timeout. And Mick kind of softly <laughs> spoke to his teammates and put some kind words in their ears about let's pick it back up guys on defense that's kind of what he said that, that mask had no chance <laughs> oh. i think the mask would be good for him in that situation but no chance no. shot clock down to two juzang comes up short Hakez the follow Hakez is a problem and he's going to be as long as they keep rolling here what a terrific player he is mclaughlin can't hit it there's juzang with the rebound. Six and a half to go. That's going to be away from the ball. Huck has fouled. I think they got Daniels there. UCLA now with 12 second chance points. And actually, McLaughlin picks up the foul. Substitutions coming in for Abilene Christian. Joe Golding. Looking for answers. UCLA has been able to spread the scoring around. Again, here's Makai Morris. I'm going to go ahead and let him ride at this point. That's a long two. McCork, uh, Morris with 11 points, all coming in the second half. Not the senior. Seizing the moment in regards to his last game. Taking advantage of the opportunity to be on the court and play. Bernard for three. Man. Options. Lots of them. Like life, brother. Confidence, too. You know? Confidence is an amazing thing. UCLA on their way to their third straight win in this tournament after coming through the first four. Riley, there's a foul. As Reggie Miller goes to the hole. Free throws coming here from Miller. Good find. Yeah, look at the Cronins here. Lean into it. Oh, got Lean even got pop, pop him. That Hep okay. is as fired up as you'll ever see him right there. <laughs> you, and you know after the game, he's going to have all kind of criticism. Like, you know, that's just what fathers and coaches do the brother is fired up yeah, like, who he, are you texting bro dan's going to the phone who, here and see who if you he texting he's Pay gonna be on twitter in a minute <laughs> <laughs> put it away midwest guy going to coach at ucla how about that that happened before well yes home of alford, john what's the yeah and offered you know wouldn't started it alford mm -hmm. and you know it was such a contrast when they hired big cronin after going through some other searches it seemed like they settled in mixed mind, he was like, okay, yeah, you might have settled a little bit in the minds of people, but now he's reshaping the program in a different aspect. Trying to find the tough-minded individuals along with the athleticism and the high IQ, maybe not to play the exact brand of basketball he played in Cincinnati because it's hard to duplicate that in the West Coast, but to have that grit and defensive focus. And, and that's what we're 
witnessing right now, you know, in the turn tournament. As he starts rolling players in, this is just Mick's second year, and, mm -hmm. you know, that, it takes a while to build that, and he wants to get there. He's a hardcore, defensive-minded coach, and he's got a lot of talent with this UCLA Bruins team. Send it over to Allie LaForce. What do you have, Allie? You're right. He did have to convince the guys to buy in, and Jules Bernard is the perfect example because this is a kid who had three different coaches in high school, and Mick Cronin was his third coach at UCLA, and he said he trusts us. Coach Cronin said Jules has made a tremendous transformation. He's got a great attitude. He's willing to learn. So it's hard to change your game. This guy was willing to do it, and he's shown he's willing to do it throughout his whole career. The team said Cronin's defensive mindset is so intense and fiery that it builds a fire within them, and they love to compete for him. Yeah, follow. Can't get the jam. Riley, but he's fouled. Thank you, Allie. Now you put the, the defensive pieces together with some firepower on offense, and now you've got the makings of a team that can make a run and bring UCLA back. And that's exactly what Cronin is trying to do, bring this program back to prominence. Well, the good part is that this group here, two years, they laid a foundation for the future. Hey, don't forget, UCLA trying to put away Abilene Christian here, and then they'll match up with Maryland or Alabama. That is our next game at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Coming up on TNT, and that is going to be some kind of fun. Alabama, one of the best teams in the country. Nate Oates. Yep. Mark Turgeon called him the, the fifth number one seed. <laughs> right. And they got a lot of talent. They like to get out and run and play fast, and we're looking forward to that one. Alabama and Maryland coming up on TNT right here from this building. A 10-second violation. Couldn't get it across. You know, it's interesting about that Alabama team. We were talking about transferring from a mid-major to a, you know, power five, and can you get the same kind of players to play you the way you want? And a lot of schools and a lot of coaches have challenges with that. Mm -hmm. But not in Alabama. I mean, he's taking what he's done in Buffalo and added size and athleticism, more talent, and got those players to play in a very similar fashion, and it's paid off for. Morris keeps it rolling here. He's having a second half of an NCAA tournament game to remember. 14 points all coming in this half. All about these memories that are being made at Abilene Christian, the Plains of West Texas. Building this program. Campbell. Plays it with a rebound. Cats want to push it a little bit. And Miller gets stuck. Mason. And that's going to be a foul on Jaquez before the shot. And that'll send us to our last media timeout, 348. Remaining into the party here for ACU. Call Tony. I'm still at work. Will you pick me up? Starting today, nobody has to settle for less than the very best. Because only Verizon gives you 5G from America's most reliable network at no extra cost. And plans to mix and match so you only pay for what you need. The plan is so reasonable, they could stay on for the rest of their life. And on top of that, nobody gives you more entertainment you love. Like Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus on select unlimited plans. And Discovery Plus on us. You even get one of our best 5G phones on us when you buy one. And it all starts at just $35. Only from Verizon. Condos, 150K.
Sorry, bud. Thanks. Switch to progressive and you can save hundreds. You know, like the sign says. All right. Back to work. Introducing Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. It's made with real fruit juice and it's USDA certified organic. It's a cut above. New Mango Apricot Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. As real as it tastes. Now there's a new way Experian Boost can raise your credit scores. I had no idea I could raise my credit score just by paying my monthly streaming service. We're all doing that, right? <laughs> now, paying for Netflix, Hulu, and more can boost your credit scores. Download the Experian app now. Oh, you know we couldn't get out of here with a shout to our colleague, Reggie Miller, right down Michigan Street, a couple of blocks from Banker's Life Fieldhouse, that iconic mural. There's that number 31 hanging in the rafters with all the greats here. This is the home of the Pacers. The house that Reggie helped build, the Hall of Famer, Reggie Miller, and ACU's Reggie Miller. He's heard it all week. He was excited to come here and see all that is Reggie Miller around this arena. And what a terrific career he is finishing off here today. More on that. Let's check in with Allie. Well, one is six foot and the other is six foot six, but they share a name. And the first Reggie Miller was very aware of that. He sent us a text message. He said, I will always bleed the blue and gold of my beloved UCLA Bruin. But I will admit, it's a bit strange <laughs> seeing another Reggie Miller out there hard not to root for a guy with that name. Yeah, imagine checking into the hotel with you know, the <laughs> ACU version of exactly. Reggie Miller. Yeah, I'll have a Reggie Miller. I wonder if he knows all of his aliases, too. Yeah, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun with these guys. It has been. It's pleasure. A great defender. Getting to know this Abilene Christian team. It's always a team that kind of burst onto the national spotlight at this tournament. And Oral Roberts and ACU have been those teams this year. Nice finish inside for Riley. Mason can't hit it. Give Mason a lot of credit, too. He's been playing with a broken nose wow. throughout this tournament. No way Mason was going to let that stop him from competing in this year's tournament they got a mask for him went down to <laughs> bloomington to get him to get a mask and he wore it for about 30 seconds i think and then threw it out in round one juzang like, three-pointer no, for juzang no. hey listen ucla we were talking about kind of the urban flight of midwest people going to ucla and really helping out the program uh, you know john wooden and nick cronin how about my boy Martin German, who's the yeah. AD right now at UCLA, formerly at The Ohio State University, mm -hmm. then went to Boston College for his first AD job, and then at UCLA to have some big things going on. So happy and proud of that young man under the tutelage when he was at, uh, at Ohio State. This will be an offensive foul. Yeah, Martin Jarman, man. Man, what I'm a job. You. He's now taken over in the middle of a pandemic. He's, you know, still trying to get to know everybody. A lot of Zoom calls and well, his programs have done a great job. He's He was highly sought after. And, you know, Gene Smith had a lot of great things to say about him and kind of learned and got his feet wet under Gene Smith at Ohio State. All smiles for the Bruins here in round two. As an 11 seed, ready to advance to the Sweet 16 in a matchup with either Alabama or Maryland. Indianapolis has not been a great spot for UCLA in recent years. Bruins fans will remember a couple of national championship games lost in this city. Lost in 1980 to Louisville in Indianapolis. And then 06, that uh, Ben Howland team lost to Florida at the RCA Dome. Hey, BR Kicks is the home to all things sneakers and fashion, from Kicks Cam to Fit Watts to unboxings and more. BR Kicks has you covered at BR Kicks. We're all over sneaker heads. Follow BR Kicks. What do you got on today, Jimmy? Hold up, back up. Huh? We've been here praising UCLA <laughs> this whole time about yeah. all the adjustments right. that they've been doing. Yeah. And then you come back with that stat about Just Indianapolis. <laughs> It's not been good to him. Yeah, but I, that's my Mick Cronin piece. Is how I score. What I like to do is just like Mick Cronin, you got to know when to build up and when to tear down. And I, I thought maybe 
That was a good time for that. <laughs> that's cold and cold. That's cold bloody <laughs> man. No, that is cold. Hey, you're Mick, saying that's not it? Mick, it wasn't me, bro. It hey. was you know I got you. It wasn't me. Well, like he said yesterday. <laughs> what? And he told us arrogance will get you beat, Jimmy. <laughs> so you just reminded him of what could happen in sand. He got, well, he wants to break the curse. There's oh, some buddy. wounds here in Indianapolis for Bruins fans. But some more, they can exercise. You didn't have to reopen those, those wounds, though. You really didn't. And get him in the whistle. game. Yeah, get him in the game. In this the game. is great, great opportunity for some of these kids who have been on the practice squad. Jamison Richardson on his way in. Logan McLaughlin. Incredible story. Paul Hippler is going to get some time. He's been chief cheerleader on that bench this is an amazing team right here this is going to go down as an all-timer in acu history they'll be talking about this this team forever ever just think about when the program really takes off and they can start to really have the sustained success and then they'll all be attracted back to these group of young men who really laid the foundation for them. see peyton brooks on the floor as well as we approach the 30 second mark get a shot up get it up yeah. come on there it is that's what i like yep take it on the ground goes richardson scrapping but the officials wouldn't call this <laughs> the officials wouldn't call in the jump ball on that he keeps the clock rolling <laughs> kenneth nuba getting some time here for ucla they've got some guys coming off their bench as well look at that huddle right there Tight. They're moving on. The Bruins are yep. going to become the fifth team to go from the first four to the Sweet 16. Kenneth Nuba McCronin's going to be on his way to the Sweet 16 for the second time. Went there with Cincinnati in 2012. Count that basket. You know, you realize this that Mick, one of five coaches, been to the tournament since 2011, man. Ten straight years. Well, I mean, yep, there were some big names, too. Yeah, Mark D, Roy Williams, Tom Benzo, Bill Self. Great respect between those two, Mick Cronin and Joe Golding. And UCLA advancing to the Sweet 16. And the Bruins still dancing here. In Indianapolis. Into the line for Abilene Christian. Nothing to hang your head. It's a remarkable story. The kind they make movies out of. Starting this program as a D1 school eight years ago. Got a win, beat Texas. But it stops here in the round of 32. It'll be the Bruins and either Maryland or Alabama, which is our game next. Sliding over to TNT. That is going to be some fun. 20-point win for UCLA, still alive in Indiana. Don't forget, tune into TNT and CBS right now for live second-round games coming up on TBS. Colorado and Florida State will send you to our studio for Capital One Tournament Central after these messages. The Bruins dancing up a storm here in the Hoosier State. They're moving on to the Sweet 16.